Okay, this is the second video for yours truly, Loudon Styles, and it's going to be a Loudon's World. Yes, that's right. And this Loudon's World is going to be on Night of Champions. So without further ado, hello, I'm Loudon Styles. I do these videos, so you watch them. And this is Loudon's World. Okay guys, today on Loudon's World, I'm going to be giving a full recap on Night of Champions. Now, there's going to be one match I'm going to not even go over or decide to go over because I really don't want to. And that's the Lumberjill, unif that's the Lumberjill match. Didn't care about it. I really didn't see it. Didn't really care about it. I kind of could, I thought Molina was going to win. Michelle McCool ended up winning. Ugh. I mean, the Divas, the Divas division is, like, dwindling. The only good competitors in there now are Gail, Kim, Melina. Can I say Kelly Kelly? Kinda. Jillian, she's... Mm. Um, the rookies from in, the, the NXT rookie Divas have more credibility and legit wrestling skill legit wrestling than the divas themselves even better even being a better performer i mean savannah she's good aj fiery little thing she just went after everybody that was funny as hell i pay i'd pay good money just to see her shut michael cole up but michael oh yeah by the way michael cole's not on nxt anymore <laughs> thank god he was boring um anyway <clears throat> Let's get on with it. Big Show versus CM Punk. Big Show wins. CM Punk, it looked like CM Punk was going to win, but Big Show caught him with the right hand. It was over. Domination at its finest. Uh, Kane versus The Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, I'm not going in order for this. I'm just going after the things that got got my eye. Uh, Kane versus The Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship. This was the biggest surprise for me. Because I thought, once again, Undertaker was going to dominate Kane. But that wasn't the case. Instead, it was the other way around. Kane destroyed The Undertaker and ended up winning the match and retaining the World Heavyweight Championship to a very shocked arena. I mean, this or they were shocked. I mean, there was like that kind of look. Um that was surprisingly new. I did not expect that to happen. I really didn't. Um let's see what else. There was Dolph Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston. If Ziggler gets counted out or disqualified, he would forfeits the title to Kofi Kingston. Um, once again, Vicky Guerrero helps him out, and Dolph's the you know freaking Intercontinental Champion yet again. He's he retains the title. Hopefully, this will end Kofi's going for the Intercontinental title, and it will start up when he goes for the World Heavyweight Championship, because I think it's about time that Kofi does get a World Heavyweight title shot. It, it's about time. He's already he's already a multiple-time Intercontinental Champion. He's already a multiple-time United States Champion. He's won the Tag Team Championships before. Well, one of them, anyway. Uh, Actually, he needs... I think a world heavyweight title shot or a WWE ch tag team title shot. If he gets any of those, he'll be a triple crown champion. Um, unless they count the tag team titles he had with CM Punk as unified tag team titles or whatever, then he uh, he's a triple crown champion. He's about to be a Grand Slam champion. Um, it was a really good match. You know, a Dol Dolph Ziggler Kofi Kingston matches are always good. Even when Vicky, you know, ruins it. Uh, why is she there? Seriously, why is she there? 
Anyway, uh, next match. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. I knew at the beginning of this match that Daniel Bryan was going to be United States Champion because of the following. Money in the bank. Because Miz is money in the bank, chances are Miz was going to go for the WWE Championship sometime later. Or, you know, sometime soon. And, I mean, they already planned it where Daniel Bryan was going to win the title anyway. They, they, were, they were wanting to put it on his waist. So, you know, they start off, Daniel Bryan's the United States Champion. Even with Alex Riley trying to interfere, he puts on that LaBelle lock, it's over. Miz taps out, he, he taps out, it's over. Daniel Bryan's the new champion. <sighs> Excuse me. Next match, the six-pack challenge. Okay, let me just say two things that I knew were going to happen. Two things. Jericho and Edge were about to be eliminated quickly. And Cena was not about to be champion again. I did not I mean Cena being champion would be like a big blow to everybody because that would piss a lot of people off if Cena became champion again because he's been champion way too many times he's been champion over 9,000 times and honestly people are getting tired of Cena being a champion he's held that belt way too many times he's been pushed to the moon like no other he's been pushed like he was super cena the last son of krypton i mean come on no so here's what basically happened jericho quickly got eliminated by orton cena eliminates edge by attitude adjustment barrett orton and sheamus and cena remain the nexus come out and distract Cena. Next has come out, distract Cena, and Barrett hits him with the wasteland and pins him one, two, three. Barrett has a win over Cena. But what's funny is that they had to resort to cheating. Like the only way you can ever actually beat Cena cl cleanly is either you gotta cheat. Or he wins. I don't know. It's weird. But Barrett beats him via Wasteland. One, two, three. And then just when he got up, Orton hits the RKO. One, two, three. Sheamus Orton. They go at it like no other. Orton hits the RKO. One, two, three. Sheamus loses his WWE Championship. Randy Orton is the new champion. Second time in Orton's history he's ever been a champion as a face. The first time was when he was World Heavyweight Champion, and he was, you know, against Triple H. But, you know, that that, that, that doesn't count. They don't want to count the, his World Heavyweight Championship win because of the fact that he faced Chris Benoit for the belt. They don't want to, you know, in, they don't want to give him that and say that he's the youngest World Heavyweight Champion in WWE, WWE history. Because of the fact that, you know, Chris Benoit was the one he faced. And, you know, they don't want to, you know, it, they don't want to know, make notice of Chris Benoit. So, yeah. Monday Night Raw is going to be interesting because you're going to have a new U.S. champion in Daniel Bryan. You're going to have a new champion in Randy Orton. What's going to happen, I don't know. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to see what's going to happen. I'm going to, you know, see what happens. Um, for the Miz and Daniel Bryan thing, let me just say, I know a lot of people don't like the fact that Miz lost the belt. There, Because there are a lot of Miz fans. I, I like Miz. Miz is a great competitor. He's legit. He's proven himself to be legit. I like his promos now. I like how he comes out, you know, just rubbing it in everybody's face. How, like how everybody thought I was a reality TV star. I like that. He's one of the best. He's like one of the best upcoming heels now. But I also like the fact that Daniel Bryan beat him. And I like the and I like Daniel Bryan. And I like the fact that Daniel Bryan's the US champion now. And you know, a lot of people don't like Daniel Bryan because most of them are marks and and they would eat the sh and they just eat the crap out of anything. I mean. And you know, 
I'm I'm just glad Daniel Bryan won the title. I'm happy. Really cool win for him. Um, awesome win for Randy Orton. He's the champion again. Hey, it's like this: ABC, anything but Cena. <laughs> Cena's a great competitor and everything, but I do not want to see him with that freaking belt around his waist again. He's been having it way too many times. You know, when you win more WWE titles than Hulk effing Hogan, you know something's wrong. You know, there, there's a time when you need to stop when you start winning more titles than Ric Flair and, and Hulk Hogan. Yeah, no. D don't even, no. Okay, guys, well, that was my review. Hope you all enjoy it. I'm Loudon Styles. I'm over, I'm out, and I am... Oh.